Okay. So this is probably going to last about 30 seconds because I don't want him to overwhelm them. And so far, he still needs some politeness lessons. But we thought it might be fun if he got to meet some other kittens for a few minutes. Maybe that would help him with his politeness lessons. Oh, they're trying to be friendly with him immediately, and he just hissed at one, which is better than what he could have done. He just, that was the dominant hiss, the one that says, I'm in charge here. Back off while I figure things out. Not the one that says, I'm going to murder you. So that's good, at least. we got that going for us, which is nice. Now he's gone off to look around the room. Well, these kids are going to be over here snuggle up. By the way, uh, welcome to Mailbag. I know it's a little early. It's 9.30. Mailbag starts at 10. Uh, but we've decided to have a little bit of fun before Mailbag today. So I started the archive early. And uh, we will start Mailbag at 10. It's going to be a short one. We're going to do it in here with these kids. Uh, and until Mailbag, we're going to let Tom meet these kids for a few minutes with Rugon. And then uh, if it goes well, he can hang out even longer. I don't think it will. He's sniffing around the litter box and looking very surprised. Yeah, I should get the other camera on him. Um, I can't show the litter box. Though. She's kicked litter everywhere. Um, what was I going to say about mailbag? Oh, so uh, I assume that uh, he's not going to do too well once he starts interacting with the kittens and is done exploring, and he'll probably have to leave, in which case we might just open the thing and let Mural come over and visit for a few minutes. I want these kids, they're going to be all hissy about Mural at first, and I want them to get past that and know that she's not a stranger or danger, uh, and that will help introductions later between the two classes. So if we have time after our little buddy gets done exploring that poop-covered floor, mm -hmm. oh, wow, I should clean that up. Uh, this thing is so strong with catnip that uh, I can smell it on Rue when I carried her into the office. Like her head smells like this catnip. Hi, buddy. Don't push it. Let him explore slowly. So just, oh, okay. I thought you were putting him over there. You just get him out of the way. But if you, if you let him explore, he's more likely to have a good interaction on his terms. I wonder if... If we put him over there, he's more likely to freak out and hit somebody. He does like that. Yeah. Just check it out. See if he does. Hey, buddy. Maybe you better not to rile him up. I don't know. Whatever. Where's my camera control so I can get, make sure he's visible to everybody else? Hey, bud. Hi, kids. Hi. Mm -hmm. little, there's a little pause when he runs. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he doesn't have dry food, but they have dry food. It smells like a bowl of treats. Actually, I don't think he knows dry food. He's probably actually been eating like pastrami and stuff because uh, when I try to give him treats, crunchy treats, he does not know what to do with it. Oh, Tommy, what do you got there, bud? Basket. A wire. Oh, so how much fun is a wire? They pooped in the other unicorn, so I had to put it in the wash, and I pulled out this unicorn, and they don't want it at all. Mm. I keep putting them in it, and they keep leaving, like, nah. Look how cute your buddy is. Oh, my gosh. Is that the girl? Mm -hmm. She doesn't like me that much. She's the one that, out of all of them, doesn't want to be snuggled the most. I know that's not fair. She's very affectionate, but of the whole group, she's the one most likely to be off doing something else. Or to run away when I want to snuggle. That's good. Isn't it? Probably good. He's had all the deep murmur and stuff. Good. 
maybe that'll help share some some help that'll help him more familiar with them. Did she just make a weird little hissy noise at the box, or is that just her on the cardboard? Mm -hmm. Maybe I could. Good job, buddy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on. Hey. Okay. Hey, bud. Oh, okay, run away. Hi, buddy. Oh, this this guy saw him running. Thought that was like fun. That was an appropriate interaction. Yeah. He doesn't mind at all. Well, he's not angry at him. I don't know what... I think if they came up and played, he would just play. As long as they're not touching. Oh, oh buddy. You they were not expecting that. that. Look at this tail. Look, he's got the custard Christmas tree tail but going. But he was surprised by it, too. Yeah. Is that what your floof data looks like when you're floofed up? I think you like to do. So intimidating. We got you, pal. It's okay. Oh, you saw that. That's that's a challenge. Is that sham in there? He's being slightly playful, and she's actually facing the other way. Yeah, she is facing this way. Yeah, but he's just sniffing her tail, and now he's probably going to swipe at it. No, just sniffing? Oh, <laughs> he wants to play this. How excited he is. Buddy, there's five more of those over here that might actually look at you. How is he not noticing? <laughs> I'm sure he knows. But she's more interesting because she's, like, hidden. These two are just sleeping right in the open. That's not interesting. There we go. Gimmick. Come here, buddy. Gimmick, what is this kid? Who's this kid? That was fun. Look at that. They're just playing. Yeah, but he's going to bite too hard, isn't he? Oh, he didn't bite at all. He only bites when you, like, you know, pick Try to discipline him? Yeah, or like. When he knows you're much bigger. The, the, the exact out. time that he shouldn't bite, then, is what you're saying? I mean, he was trying to bite Cuthbert's nose, too. Mm -hmm. you only but that was only the... because you were holding <coughs> That's him. That's true. I think. Yeah, he would have just hit Cuthbert instead of biting him. Like, wasn't holding him. No, I think he wouldn't have gone into, like, a confrontational situation. <laughs> is that, that, who is that? Is that gimmick? No, that's her. Mm -hmm. Oh, he yelled. Oh, 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 that was a real smack. Okay, that was, that was okay, thanks. Once you okay. take her and show her she's okay. That's how you're supposed to act when somebody's overly aggressive, yeah. buddy. You're he supposed to lay know. down and be submissive. Know. That's the major lesson you've got to learn. Well, no one here will show him. Well, Caper's standing up to him a little bit, but he's got such a weight advantage, it's yeah. not going to work. So we'll probably have to take him away if he's going to keep hitting him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do think he's, he's trying to interact the only way he knows. Exactly. <clears throat> Keeper, 
Hey, bro, let's help you do flip with bye, buddy. <laughs> Like, uh, he wants to go show him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he definitely does. He's following him, but I don't want him to feel bad. These guys have had such a blessed life so far. I don't want them to learn the wrong lessons from this little bully. He is. He's just yeah. like Cup did, though. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what he's doing. Doesn't mean he's not a bully. That was pretty good. There you go. That's pretty good too. Uh, 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 nah. Not so rough though. Oh, oh. That was too rough. <laughs> too rough. Oh, Gambush. Gambush. It's okay, Gambush. It's like Does he good. have his front claws trimmed? Because I've never felt his front claws out. Um, I think they might have been like a little while ago. He thinks. Okay, he's done. Hey, Tiny, put these up. I got sure I got you. Buddy, you gotta slow down. I got you. Hey, this no, no. guy says calm down. Well, you don't have to preload a chomp for me, buddy. You know me. Okay. Alright, I think he has to go because. Well, I'm gonna give him another second while these guys are still look like they're having. Oh. He's causing oh, no. a lot of. Uh, yeah, big eyes. I see that from they're Gimmick. They're all a little bit. Gimmick, like, Gimmick is oh, like, no. what just What's happened to me? What's happening here? This is something we have to be afraid of now. He was better than I thought he was going to be, but still, obviously, a little bit problematic um, in that I know, you know, it didn't look like anything went majorly wrong there, but we're trying to not let him establish any bad patterns either, so i got to take it extra cautious. Hi, Moo Moo. You want to come in? Come on in. It's safe, I promise. I wouldn't invite you in if it wasn't all safe. Very safe. All this thing here are more little kittens that could be your friend. They could be your kitten friend. Sure they could. Oh, and there's some dry food too, so it's like a bonus. She's going to go right for it. Oh, I smell dry food. Yep. I knew that would be the first thing she'd want. Are you looking really tough, aren't you, Caper? I know. Well, you already you told one new cat today already who was the boss around here. Are you ready to tell even bigger new cat who's the boss around here, huh? It's okay, Caper. You don't have to be the one. I can do it. You got your back, buddy. Look at your tail even flipped up. Okay, buddy. We're just making a lot of noise, but none of that's actually directed at you. Discretion, the better part of valor, buddy. You good? Okay. Hey, Bert, come back. Hi, Minu. What do you think of all that? What do you think of all that? Hi, 
Oh, now you don't have to hit the pick button. That's completely unnecessary. I know. That's the kind of thing that'll get you in a lot of trouble if their mom were here. You'd get in a lot of trouble for saying that to her kitten. Chomp that one too, huh? Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! I did not see that coming, and neither did you, and did you, buddy? Come here, come here. Let me say I'm sorry. I expected you to give more of a warning than that. You just give the one hiss and then you smack. Well, it certainly told them what you were thinking, though, didn't it? Come here, buddy. I got you, hijinks. I got you, bud. You did not see that one coming, did you? All right, Mumu. I'm going to go back to your side of the room. You met some kittens. It was a good first meeting. You smacked one. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, Mr. Hygiene. We got you right there. Okay. We got you, bud. It's all right. I know, I know. You didn't expect it. Okay, here, nobody plays with this mouse, and she likes it, so let's give her this too. Oh, what? Here. Put it in your room. Go on. Go back across. Okay, there you go. Good girl. Nice try. She's obviously just wants them to know some respect, but, uh, you know, after she gave the initial hiss, she thought, well, then we progressed to just a smack. Uh, she didn't use her claws or anything, and it was just, you know, I'm sure it surprised them more than anything. But, uh, everybody's fine. Right. Oh, Hustle, you just slept through all of that. You just slept through the whole thing, both visits. You just slept through all of it, didn't you? Right in the middle of the floor, too, like a little homeless kitten. Tiny hustle. Hustle's not bothered by anything. Because he sleeps right through it. Are you going to be upset if I if I have a little kitten? What? What? This is my button. We got about 10 minutes till mailbag, so it's time for me to go check out my coffee situation and bring the mail in. Let's do that and brew back, of course. Oh, let's take care of those things.
be back to her newest catnip scratcher. This is um, the same brand as that lobster one that's been so popular. It's Dr. Pussum's. DJ just bought these, and uh, they are intense. They might be better than the Yao ones, really. They certainly, the, the ones that we have has lasted way longer and been more popular than even the Yao ones. And this one's on track um, to at least be as popular. We'll see how long it lasts. Uh, you can definitely tell it's good stuff, though. I mean, not even without the cats, um, because you can you can smell it like the yow stuff. Like it's just so strong. I don't even know how that works. I've grown catnip, and I never get the kid's never interested in what I grow, and it never has a strong smell. Somehow, aw, you Mural, that is too many. You're gonna you're cruising for a bruise and you want the other one of those? You've got a banana, don't you? I get you one. There's one more. <laughs> she starts looking at me, she's so cute. Maybe she can go out and run around the house for a while. Look at this. You look at all these cat figures. You got the sages one right here. You got the Yao one. Your Yao is hardly touched. Oh, you got the brand new mouse. Look at that. You already made that all wet. What else you got? Oh, you've got some Dr. Pussums here. It's right there. Look. It's a small one. But it's the same stuff. Well, it doesn't smell quite as good. Maybe it's been here too long.
Hey everybody, I know we started a half an hour early and now I'm a couple minutes late. Uh, I got held up in the master bedroom with Maggie and our newest addition, Tom Foolery. Uh, they were getting some treats together and then Maggie was kind of trying to be his mom. Maggie seems like she's real interested in him and also he seems like he respects her a lot more than any of the others. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe Maggie looks like his mom. Maybe he knew his mom. I don't know if that really counts for a lot with cats, though. I've never really seen cats provably act like the way that, you know, the colorings on another cat are what matters to them. I don't think it does. But who knows? Uh, for one reason or another, Maggie seems to get along better with Tom than anybody else. Uh, so I was just giving them some treats together. I posted some pictures on the Discord. Uh, anyway, hey, let's get started with the mailbag jingle. I know I'm sitting awfully far away from this camera. Maybe I should zoom it in a little. Maybe I should just sit a little closer. It's not a long mailbag. I don't even have my back against the wall, do I? We'll see. I don't know. We're going to play this one by ear. Um, let's, let's do that jingle, though. Let's start there. A little something to tell us it's going. That's wrong. Kitten Academy is where you want to be when you are a cat. On a Saturday, they can pounce play time for the mailbag. Okay. There we go. Looks like we got it. Uh, hi. Um, so if you are one of the people who hangs on till Saturday's mailbag for the news of the week, oh man, did you miss a lot this week? Uh, let's see. We had, um, we picked up a new kitten as you saw. His name is Tom Foolery, uh, but he's got a lot of nicknames too. So basically if you hear a name you don't recognize, we're probably talking about him. Tommy Pastrami, um, he is living in the master bedroom right now. He was basically uh, found at a deli in the Bronx and uh, one thing led to another and here he is our late addition to the uh, to the Kitten Academy to this large extended class that we've currently got. Um, so we've got six of Mural's kittens plus Mural. We've got six kittens in here plus Rue and now we've got a uh, 13th kitten, a good baker's dozen, uh, plus two mom cats. So we're definitely very full at the moment. Um, he is, he weighs almost, but not quite, almost two pounds. He's a little bloated. So, you know, I think naturally he might weigh a little less than two pounds, um, you know, about a pound and a half maybe. But he's also been living out. Uh, he doesn't seem at all malnourished, but my experience, uh, limited, very limited experience, with kittens that have been rescued. Uh, I know that sounds like, like, like false humility or something, but no, really, I don't have a lot of experience with kittens, just with mom cats and kittens that are born here. So my limited experience with rescued kittens uh, would lead me to believe he's probably a little older than his weight would indicate, so I'm saying he's at least two months old. Uh, also, I think his development, the way he plays, his strength, his coordination, all sort of lends credence to that. Um, maybe, I guess right around two months anyway. So he's a little bit older than these guys. Um, and uh, obviously you can see that when he comes in, he's got a bit of a weight advantage on them and also a bit of an aggression advantage. He hasn't had all the lessons, I think, that kittens like this get about how to be polite and how to, how to limit your play to what's play. So when he bites, uh, he tends to, to be a little bit too all in on it. And it also seems like it's the only way he knows to interact. Uh, you don't see him doing, for instance, mutual grooming uh, or even trying to, you know, and you don't see him, you don't see him interacting in any other way except to try to play and hit and bite um, because I guess that's all he knows how to do right now. So we're going to work on trying to get him to be a little bit better rounded. Uh, the good news is he's not actually aggressive. He's not an aggressive cat. It, he almost always seems like what he really wants is to play. He just doesn't know how to do it. So, so you know, like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle with him, but we're working on it. And, uh, of course, what I would like to see is for him to be integrated with this class. 
And I would still like to see this class integrated with the other class and have one big happy family with two moms and 13 kittens. Uh, right now, that's so slow going, it doesn't look like it's probably going to happen. So I wouldn't count on it because uh, we're taking it real slow and real cautious with all those introductions. Um, but that doesn't mean we're not going to keep trying. We certainly are. Uh, as for these kids, the only real news is that everybody's super healthy and happy. Uh, yes, um, there is, you know, like Mural in particular. Mural sounds really bad today. Her allergies or whatever must be super getting to her because she's a little congested um, in her nose, not in her chest. Uh, and the chest would mean a trip to the vet. Uh, but if it's just like in her head, then that's, you know, a different story. Um, so she's she's feeling a little bit in her in her head. You can you can tell, and she's a little extra sneezy. And her kittens have had some eye goobers. I've seen a little evidence of the eye goobers in here too, especially on the black kittens where it's really easy to see, but not very much. Um, but I like I've said a million times, all the eye goobers and a little bit of sneezing here and there. It's probably allergies. Uh, if it is something infectious, it's not anything serious. You can tell. Um, so uh, we're just keeping an eye on it, just, you know, sort of watching, wait and see. Uh, other than that, everybody is super healthy, good gains, uh, you know, or at least reasonable gains all the way across the board, and everybody's active and happy, and uh, everything's just really good. So yeah. So I've gone on about that for long enough. This, by the way, is Hustle. If you if you wondered, the one way you can tell Hustle, you know, I've been saying he's wider than hijinks the whole time. But I think what we're going to find out is he may be the same width. Uh, it's just he's a floofer, I think. I think he's a long hair, where hijinks is a short hair. And all that extra fur makes him look much wider. But I'm not sure he is. Maybe a little wider. All right. Hey, uh, mailbag, let's do it. We've got some mail to go through today. And our first mail is a postcard from Sumi, Finland. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing Sumi, Finland. I'm trying, though. Uh, it's a cute little postcard, uh, and it says, Dear Mr. A, thought you might enjoy a card from Finland. Well, of course I would. I am visiting family here and have not been able to watch KA for a while. Hope you, Dr. DJ, Loom, the Catterns, and the new mom cat are all doing well. Looking forward to seeing the new kittens when I get back to the USA. All the best. John, Jana, Jana, how do you pronounce this name? J-A-A-N-A? Uh, I'm sure whatever way you pronounce it is correct, and whatever way I pronounce it is wrong. So we'll just keep moving with that. Uh, Jane, uh, thank you so very much for the wonderful postcard. It's nice that you thought of me. It must have taken a while to get here, considering. Uh, well wishes for Loom and the Catterns, who now are all gone. Uh, we just saw Princess Paisley and Basket we leave this week, so it's not too far behind. Uh, Paisley, of course, on Sunday, and Basket Weave on Wednesday, uh, and here we are on Saturday. So, so that's done. Uh, I thought we'd have more kittens over here to play with me, but of course, Mama Rue decided that right at the start of mailbag would be a good time to sit down and nurse everybody. You want to go join her? Join them? Look, do you know where your family is? There you go, bud. Uh, these guys, by the way, have all started eating, and they eat on their own. They go over to the food dish. They, they, they're feeding themselves. They're doing very well. Um, so the nursing at this point, kind of a bonus. They are still in the, the weaning stage. So, you know, I'm sure they need the nursing a little bit. But, you know, if she stopped nursing them tomorrow, they would figure it out because they've all started to eat a little. So that's good news. Okay. Uh, I think that postcard is our one letter for today's mailbag. From there, we've just got mailbag. So we're going to go through it. I've got a coffee here with that mug that's got Chevron from New York City Kitty uh, with this pizza and the Statue of Liberty. It's so cute. It's sort of like a tourist uh, kitsch. It was kitsch, what you think? Did you say schlock? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, I think, I think kitsch has a little bit more of a... Uh, there's a quality of um, not quite antique, but but older, right? You know, where schlock doesn't have that. I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong. All right, here we go. Uh -huh. I don't know what this is or anything. 
no clues on the outside. Let's just dig right in. Oh, kind of a cute little toy. They're very cute. What do I call this? They're like little tiny handmade mice. Oh, I love it. Oh, and some cool drawings too. Oh man, this is awesome. Oh, we started with a real winner. So I love these little handmade mice. They're so cute. The fabrics are cute. I, I love that you've added little titles to each of them and that they're each a unique material and design. And I also like that they're all little triangles. Look, this one's got a Tweety Bird, and you very clearly, whoever sent this, cut it out so the Tweety Bird would be featured on one side. Uh, very cute. Okay, let's see. There's a note here, though, with some art in it that is fantastic. Oh, this is so good. Wow. Um, if I smelled catnip, it's probably coming from the mice or else from this thing. This thing is so strong. It's, oh, man, that is some serious catnip happening right there. Uh, wow, I need to take a picture of this and share it with everybody. Look at all this. You've got a um, star-faced Roddy. Uh, oh, and you labeled the close-up that it came from. Look at that. Uh, Princess Paisley from Twitter. Pop goes the Weebop. And you've also labeled which close-up you took that from. So cool. Our tech support image you've recreated here. And I love the little question marks next to, uh, who was that, horror? Somebody? It's been a long time. Hungry Hungry Hippos, so sweet. Kitten Academy logo with, uh, I see you've done little noodle sticks and headphones and mice and other icons of the Kitten Academy. And then we've got Fawcett in a tub and Brumblebee. Some real classics. This is, this is great. I need to post this for everybody to see on the Discord at least. Oh, and I need to not have my thumb covering up a cat. Hang on. It's so busy. I love this art that is so... Uh, like there's so many little details everywhere. I think that's wonderful. Uh, I'm going to take a picture of the other side too because it's beautiful. Oh, but it does say your last name there, which I usually try to hide. Uh, not a big deal. Anyway, this says, <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my gosh, you've illustrated some of the funny things I used to say too. Uh, all right, it says, Greetings, Kitten Academy from the land of 10,000 lakes and 10 million mosquitoes. I wrote to you a couple months ago with some art, but I'm writing to you again with some more art and a gift of my own. My younger sister and I made these toy mice together, inspired by the Catterns. However, I believe the Catterns will have all been adopted out by the time they reach you, so feel free to distribute them as you see fit. That's the mice, not the cats. Um, so I can see you've also included, though, a guide to the mice, so I know which one is inspired by whom. For instance, Herringbone. We can tell it's herringbone because of the, the weave woven tail. I actually have like a herringbone weave to the tail. Uh, and then you've also, you've listed argyle here, which does have sort of an argyle on it. Paisley has a little bit of a paisley on it and looks like a princess. Uh, basket, see that basket weave on there as well. And then chevron, um, I don't see any chevrons on there unless you look at this end maybe, but this one is labeled for chevron. Uh, very cute little Tweety Bird. Uh, okay, um, and the art. I drew more of my KA favorites, some of them real classics. For example, the Roll Tide. Yes, I said Roll Tide Pods, thinking uh, that was clever, and you've actually put a uh, football helmet on a Tide Pod. Uh, that's too cute. Okay, uh, the Purple Cat below is supposed to be uh, Puget. Uh, no, Pudget, no. Uh, it is it's Puget. Yes, okay, sorry. It's supposed to be Puget. A girl I was babysitting taught me how to draw cartoon cats, and his floofiness and purple collar inspired me. Best wishes to Mural as she delivers her kitten soon, and thank you again, Kitten Academy. God bless Rachel B. Rachel, I love your little purple cat, actually. that's uh, You definitely learned how to draw cartoon cats. That's a very cartoony cat. So there's our little Puget here. Let me just, I'll just cover that up a little. I know it's, it's I don't know, a nod to trying to keep things uh, cool. All right, so there's our, little, uh, our guide to which pattern is which cat, and our roll tide pods, and our purple little Puget. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love all of it. Uh, so Rachel B., thank you so much for these uh, Catterin-inspired mice that certainly will uh, will be distributed around for everybody to try out. This is a good size for these kids to play with, actually. I should see if they like them. Why don't I just leave them out here? Well, I don't want them to have all of them, though. I want our new kid to try some, too. I wonder which ones he would like. Hmm. 
you know what, we'll figure this out. I'm going to put it all right back in here for now, and then we will distribute these uh, in due time, as we like to say sometimes, uh, mostly when we're being irresponsible. Uh, let me post that picture on the Discord before I forget to do so, and also make sure that everything is okay. There we go. I do think we're okay. Good enough. All right. Uh, let's keep going. Rachel B., thank you so much. Oh, a t-shirt, a cool t-shirt. What is this? All I see is this, this Ari looking cat right here. <laughs> Whoa, very Halloween-y. <laughs> I like it. It just says, what? Uh, but he's got a bloody knife and his wide Ari eyes. <laughs> it's a very cute Halloween uh, theme type shirt. Uh, I, and I could just wear this year round, of course. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Thank you for the t-shirt. There's no note, I don't think. Did I just did I tip a note or something? No, no note, no clue. So... Whoever sent it, thank you so much. I love it. I cannot wait to wear it. It is too silly. Okay. Uh, but no credit, so let's keep going for now. And whoever did send it, let me know. Joy F, we've got yet another little tiny stuffed animal here. I believe this one says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Mommy said not to forget to order seven plushies for the baby boys. We hope they like them. Thank you for helping kittens. Kitten hugs, cap for gimmick from Bayou, Lila, and Abby, and Joy F, of course, Joy F. Oh, so this is a little calf that we saw, and he's very cute. Oh, I like this guy a lot. He's a very cute little cow uh, toy. He's in his bag still, and we'll leave him there so I can write gimmick on it. That way, I don't have to worry about whether it gets separated from this note. Gimmick. There we go, and on this side. Ring. I'd love to see them play with these things before they go, uh, although I have been collecting them with the, the endowments downstairs, so I'll probably put them all together before I think about putting them all out. Uh, Joy F., thank you so much. Though. Those are such cute little stuffed animals, and how fun is it they each have their own? All right. Oh, how do I open this? Okay. This says it is from Tabby GCL. Tabby GCL. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, that must be Tabby Ginger Cat Lover. That's what the GCL stands for, right? And uh, let's see. This says, Dear Mr. A, this is for Mural. I hope she enjoys it. She made a beautiful palette of kittens. She certainly did. And this is from Cindy's Handcrafts. Well, it is, as we know, from Tabby uh, Ginger Cat Lover on our Discord. But uh, it was ordered through Cindy's Handcrafts on Etsy, I believe, Cindy's, that's C-I-N-D-I, Cindy's Handcrafts.etsy.com. Uh, very cute logo, and what it is is a painter's palette for mural. It's too appropriate. Oh, and a paintbrush. I see it's got both. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to open it and, and spoil this, this cute little ribbon and package that it's in, but if you can see, we've got a palette here that's got three little splotches of paint on it. It's got the thumb hole and everything, uh, which is perfect because she's got thumbs. So she'll actually be able to use it. And then, of course, it's got a paintbrush here with red paint on the end. Um, so very, very cute and so perfect for her. And I'm going to put it all right back in the, the bag so it stays with its note and the business cards for the moment from Cindy's. And I'm going to label it as being for mural. I'm going to have to get a new Sharpie in here soon. Okay, perfect. Label it for mural and set it aside for now. Uh, I certainly could give it to her before she goes, or it could be a cute little thing for her uh, adopter so that her adopter feels really bad about renaming her, if they do. You know, whoever. I say her adopter like she's got one. She doesn't yet. Theoretical future adopter. Uh, this says, for new baby kitten, no name yet, from the underscore kitten and AWAR, the uh, animal wealth. Fair, Arlington, Animal Welfare, AR, uh, I'm trying to remember, AR, I know it's your, your rescue, the underscore kitten, uh, anyway, for new baby kitten, no name yet, uh, new baby kitten, no name yet, though, does that mean tomfoolery, 
Is he the new baby kitten? He must be, because why else would there be just one, right? This is cool, actually, for Tom, because he loves to wrestle so much, and he's got these little toys that he loves to wrestle with, but the biggest one is uh, a little otter that's still much smaller than he is. This one is uh, more his size, a little bigger than he is, actually, and that could be a lot of fun to wrestle with. So I'm assuming that this beautiful cat, by the way, it's a beautiful little dilute calico cat, um, I'm, I'm assuming then is for him, uh, but the underscore kitten, you definitely know how I get in touch with. Let me know if I've got the wrong idea about that being for Tom. I'm not even going to write Tom's name on it yet. I'm going to wait until I hear from you to make sure it's for Tom. And if it is, I'm going to give it to him right away. I, I don't see any reason to wait on that one. He can use plenty of things to wrestle with right now, trust me. He's got all this energy. He's just got so much energy. And uh, just doesn't know the appropriate ways to, to interact with other cats yet. So he tries. He tries so hard. He really does. Uh, okay. Um, and he, you know what? He tries to be polite, too. I mentioned this before. But when I put Loganberry in the room with him, uh, or not Logan, I'm thinking Custard. When I, he's done this with both of them. But when I first put Custard, Custard was the first faculty that he met, the first one he met. And he first he was a little scared, and then he wanted to interact with Custard, um, and so he didn't want to like touch him though. He was he was a little worried, scared because Custard's such a big guy. So instead of touching him, he would just go near him and then play with everything around Custard to try to get his attention. And it didn't work. Custard would just completely ignore him. But it was so cute. Mural's trying to come in through the door right now. Mural, don't do that. Yes, but I know. She's like, why does she get dry food? Well, because she doesn't get bad poops from it the way you do, you know. Okay, let's see. It is for Tom. Okay, good. I'm going to put Tom's name on it so that I don't forget or something dumb like that. And then, uh, Mural, stop it. Stop it. The door is locked. No, you stay on that side. You're cruising for a bruising. Okay, I'm just going to write Tom on there because we know what that means. Mural, no, that you're just starting trouble now. That's all. That's all you're doing. That's fine. It's probably good for Rue to see you and know you can't cause any trouble, though. Um, it kind of reminds me, I was thinking, I've thought about this a couple times, the fact that Rue has been Mural. That's too much, though. Hang on. Mural, that's, yeah, you deserve that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was thinking about the fact that Mural has been kind of, uh, not Mural, Rue has been kind of, I wouldn't say aggressive, but, you know, she doesn't want other cats around, and she lets them know that she doesn't want them around uh, in, a, in a respectful way. And it just surprises me a little bit, because when she was at Dr. Cat's office, she was in a cage in sort of the, the common area, and there were cats coming in and out constantly, um, and uh, George, their, their vet cat, was there the whole time and was you know, right next to her. He was never more than three feet from her cage, and she never reacted at all. Of course, she was a little overwhelmed with all the kittens, but she didn't mind having all those cats around and all that noise, and I think she just had become accustomed to it. Um, but now that she's here and she's got her own space, she wants to maintain, right? And you can't blame her for that. Look, I covered up the door. I can still hear Mural digging at it, even though she can't see. She's got to know that it's like a wall there now. Uh, Mural, why? Okay, um, let's go. Let's keep going. This is full of fun stuff. I was just going to see if there's a note. Oh, and there is. The note. Safe to read on air. This is good. This is people who know what the... Oh, this is April in Asheville. Maybe I should let her out of the room and she could just go run around the house and be annoying. Um, okay, April in Asheville, uh, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat on Discord. Oh, okay. Uh, Ginger Tuffy Cat. Uh, hello, everyone, and greetings from Asheville. Twelve kittens at the Academy definitely qualifies as must-see TV. You have got your hands full, Mr. A, even with two incredible mom cats helping out. Mural's masterpieces are just as beautiful as I expected, and uh, I enjoy watching the ruses explore their space. It is so cute to see them running to you when you walk in the room. I've included a photo of my big boy, G, who took a break from watching K.A. to alert me uh, his food bowl was empty. Excuse me. 
After a year of being the only cat, he is open for adopting another one. Ooh, I've been checking my local shelter and websites, but he would love to come to the Academy for a few weeks to select his next little brother or sister. What an adventure that would be. I avoid social media, but find the Discord community welcoming and full of wonderful people. I found another KA fan in my town using the local meetup section and look forward to meeting in person. You've given us a safe environment to share our stories and express ourselves, and it is much appreciated. I've included some toys and labeled them for convenience. Oh, okay. Uh, so there is a cheat sheet here for this stuff. So let me uh, respond before we keep going um, to, first off, that idea. I love, I mean, we could never do it. So it's, it's completely impractical, but I love the idea of sending your cat to the academy so they can hang out for a while and you can see, like, which kitten they get along with best and then they can take them home. It's such a cute idea. It just you could you couldn't make it work, but it's such it's, it's really really cute. I like it a lot. I wish we could make it work. It would be perfect. Um, also, the Discord is full of it's uh, the the Kitten Academy Discord is still the best place on the internet. It's full of wonderful people, uh, and there's a lot of people there too. So uh, thank goodness most of them are lurkers, because otherwise it would be overwhelming. Uh, but you're right, it is. It's wonderful, and I'm glad that you found uh, a good community with, with wonderful, welcoming people. They are excellent people. Of course, uh, I will say, you know, we, we try to make it safe as possible. We try to make sure everybody is on the same page that we are and, you know, sort of like-minded, uh, you know, at least about uh, politeness and, and the way that we sort of address things. And, uh, and it, it's, been, it's been really a good experience. So many wonderful people out there. It, it's helped me to realize just uh, how good people are in general. I think, I think it's too easy to forget that, that people are generally very good and very good to each other. And uh, if you just watch the news, it's really easy to forget that. But uh, that wasn't what I was going to say. What I was going to say is, as much as we try to keep it safe, just, just please caution, you are still on the Internet. There's still, you know, I don't, several thousand people on the Discord server, and I don't know all of them. Uh, I feel fairly confident they're all good people, but use your judgment, you know. Uh, that's not just for you, April. That's for everybody. Anyway, um, I've included some toys and labeled them for convenience, you say. All right, excellent. So first off, you can say a touch-activated, here it is, oh, wow, a touch-activated cricket for Roo. Wow, okay, well, it is for Roo, and it is a cricket, and it's really cute. I think we should give it to her right now. It says Roo, and she's right here hugging her new catnip scratcher she got this morning. Uh, but I don't see any reason not to put this out. It's got an electronic little, oh, it sounds like a cricket. Reacts to the slightest touch. Well, that's going to be fun. Let's we'll see how long that lasts. Speaking of, you guys know that bird that we had, that um, the one that actually got complaints because it was in the main room and the catters were playing with it and it was making noise all night and uh, we had to take it out of their room? Well, one thing and another, it ended up in the master bedroom, and it is exceptionally loud. Uh, we've had a lot of those toys, but that particular bird is set to like 150% the volume of any of the other toys. It is crazy loud. It's louder than the TV when we're watching the TV. Uh, so I can see why it was irritating everybody. This one's, this one's much quieter. It's not going to be any kind of a bother to us. But we'll see how much she plays with it if we have to move it out of here anyway for the stream. Uh, okay, where were we? We got our cricket. Um, six catnip chew toys for the ruse class when they're old enough to enjoy them. Uh, let's see, that must be these. It says mammal, 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 mammal. I don't know. Anyway, it says uh, ruse class on that side, and they are oh, they're little animals. Look, here is a what appears to be a. Oh, it's a bear holding a honey jar. I thought for a minute it was a piece of toast. I was like, that's random. It's a honey jar. Here we have what appears to be a hippopotamus with a flower. Oh, they're all cute. We've got a, um, a panda bear with a bamboo stick. We've got a cat with chicken. It does appear to be a ginger tabby cat biting into a chicken leg. That, that's very cute. They're all very cute, but that one seems... All right. Uh, this, oh, this must be another cat with a fish. All right, there we go. I think, anyway. 
And then we've got the last one, an alligator. Oh, the alligator doesn't give anything. They all have an accessory except the alligator. Sorry, buddy. You don't get anything. Oh. Maybe he's just waiting for his chance to eat all the others. <laughs> Ooh, that got dark. Okay. Uh, we'll just put all these back in here for now. It's already nicely labeled for me. I like that. Thank you very much. We'll put that right over here for potential deployment. Okay. Faux fur balls for deployment in both Mural and Ruse class. Uh, says deployment. Oh, these are very pretty. Look at those. Wow. Obviously fake fur. Thank goodness. Uh, oh, they're very fuzzy, though. They feel like little kittens. Oh, it feels like a little bag of tiny little kittens. I'm going to put one out here right now, and I'm going to put one next door. I'm going to put it in my pocket so I remember to give it to Rue. The rest of them I'm going to hang on to for a minute so that uh, maybe we'll have replacements once they wear these out. And also so I can hand DJ the bag and have her hold all these little tiny kittens. They feel like little tiny kittens. So cute. And you wrote deployment on already, too. I love the fact these are all labeled. That's so nice of you. Uh, real fur mice for deployment to students and faculty. Well, these are also great. And uh, these mice, the real fur mice, are, uh, of course, as I always say, how popular they are. And they are popular. The ones you sent, instead of having the real fur tails, I'm looking around for the one that was in here, and I realized I just took it out this morning before mailbag. Um, the, the, oh, here we go. It looked exactly like this one, the one I took out. It's a gray, this one's a little gray mouse with a little real fur tail. Uh, but most of the ones you've sent are white with the feather tails. Those are also a big hit, which I don't think these guys have seen. Uh, I will tell you that the ones, these white ones and the gray one with the little tail, the reason I gave the gray one that was Rue, I gave it to Mural because Rue's like, it's cool, it's all right. Whereas Mural loves these things so much, she, she shreds them. She picks them up and shakes them, and she chews on them, and she just... I, I think I mentioned before, Mural is... Um, she gnaws on her toys. So if she's got like a feather or something, she'll gnaw on it until it comes off. And she does the same thing with the entire mouse. She just puts it in her mouth and just, just chews on it until it's just like a flat mass of fur. So she's already wrecked one of these, completely flattened it out, and now she started on her second. And this, this could be really good for Mural to just have in general. But I want to leave one out here with a feather on it for you, okay? We'll start with that. And the rest of them I'll leave over here, and you've already labeled those two for general deployment. It's so perfect. And then finally, treat sticks for mom, cats, and faculty. Chicken-flavored meaty treat sticks, these are great. And treat sticks are something that are very useful. Uh, they're kind of in between, too, because they're soft, uh, and they're not messy like chew or baby food, but they're not crunchy like the other treats that we use. These could be a good thing for Tom, because uh, like I was saying, he's had a hard time figuring out the crunchy stuff. He doesn't understand about the dry food. He doesn't understand about the crunchy treats. Um, he does understand the baby food very well. He understands the wet food very well. So this could be a way to get him a uh, treat that he could enjoy uh, besides just the baby food. Anyway, uh, April in Asheville also says, as always, thank you for everything you do for mom, cats, and kittens, and the KA community as well. Your close-ups are a bright spot in my day, and the live stream is a perfect way to unwind and relax. Until next time, pet kittens and ramble on. From April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat on Discord, because I'm a ginger and so is my cat. I love it. April and Asheville, thank you so much. I'm glad you're on our, our Discord. That must be relatively new, I think, um, because I don't remember you as Ginger Tuffy Cat previously. That might, I feel like that's the first time we've heard that part. Now, it's not the first time we've heard from you, of course. Thank you so much for not just sending all this stuff, but uh, sending it in such a organized fashion. It really makes my life a little bit easier when it comes time to figure out where to put all these things. So that's super helpful. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, let's open a box here. We got an Amazon Prime box, and maybe I can use this to put everything in. Hey, bud, which kitten are you? I just picked you up and started petting you, and I don't even know if you're the boy or the girl. You're the boy, you're gimmick. Okay, gimmick, right here, buddy. Right there, gimme. Oh, this also says Joy F. What do you think? Is, is it more stuffed animals, or do we have all the stuffed animals already? Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. That was too much noise. That was a little disturbing, huh? Not only did I get gimmick to run away, it got uh, Hustle here to make a little dismayed noise at me. 
wasn't quite a hiff, but it was, it was definitely a complaint. All right. Uh, hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Mommy said not to forget to order seven plushies for the baby boys. We hope they like them. Thank you for helping kittens. Kitten hugs. Pig is for hustle. Okay, but there's more than just a pig in here. But oh, it's such a cute pig. Oh my gosh, that is perfect for hustle. I love it. So that's for hustle. Uh, and then there's a couple more notes too. The notes say uh, monkey for hijinks and uh, fox for, excuse me, caper. Okay, so this is a big monkey. He's a lot bigger than the others. This is for hijinks. I'm going to write their names on them again just in case they get separated from these notes. So uh, the monkey for hijinks. It's convenient to have these plastic bags with them, so there's this cute monkey. Hi! Okay. And uh, here we go. Cute monkey for hijinks. This box is very red. Uh, beautiful coral red color. I really like that. He's, he's nice. I like that. Oh, that's a very cute box. Uh, the box was for Gambit. Okay. Perfect. Crazy like a fox, Gambit. Hey, bud, you came back to me. I know you want to hang out, and you're just a little intimidated by all the stuff I'm doing because you haven't seen me do stuff. Have you? This is the first mailbag of many, of many mailbags for you kids. All right, and finally, you said the pig is for hustle. Hey, it's so cute. It kind of reminds me of hustle. I hate to say that. Because it's, it's kind of fat and it's kind of fuzzy. It's also got big ears. My goodness, that pig. Okay, so I can put that here as well. And then uh, there was another one. Here we go. The one for Dimmick. That can definitely go in there. You also have a note here that the puppy is for... Wait, Fox for Caper, Puppy for Gambit. Wait, did I... Hijinx. Pig is for Hustle. Wait, what did I just do? Oh, the puppy is the first one that... No? Wait, Gimmick. The Fox is not for Gambit. The Fox is for Caper. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Ah, now I see why I was confused by the missing puppy. Don't worry, everybody. We got this figured out. I do need a new pen in here eventually, though. I think after today, this pen goes away. Okay, there we go. Now we switched out. All right, no worries. The puppy's got to be somewhere. Actually, I think the puppy might have been one of the ones that arrived previously, right? We'll figure it out. For now, I'm going to put your notes in the box, too, just in case I have to refer to them. Good. And other stuff that's going to, well, you know what, let's get organized later. I'm already wasting way too much time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the rambling, everybody. Uh, okay. Well, whatever this is, it appears to be dropship. It has a, a, a kitten paw on it. That's unusual and exciting. It must mean good things, right? Let's find out. Aw, oh, thank you for treating your pets and supporting my small business from Buffy and Russell. And there's a picture of Buffy and Russell. It's a very cute picture. Okay, that's cute. Let's see what else is going on here. I, I tried to get that to stay. All right, it's not going to work. I tried. Oh, very cute. Okay, we've got a little package here with more paw prints on it. And we've got a couple of other little packages here. And then we got a box that is the world's smallest tissue pit, buddy. Do you want a preview of the world's smallest tissue pit? Tissue pit for one? What do you think of that? Ah, it's a box and you're in it. Oh, no. Okay. Well, let's see what these things are. First off, I think we have the receipt, hopefully with a note. Oh, and, ooh, oh, and some other stuff that's very good. Okay. So this comes from a shop called Simply B Vermont, and that's simply, and then the letter, the letter B, and then Vermont. So it's a, uh, uh, yeah, you got it. Simply B Vermont, and it says, uh, well, it says kitten, thank you. <laughs> but there's got to be a note from whoever sent it, right? All we know is Michelle. I think uh, that's what it says. So maybe it's our shell, maybe it's a Michelle, uh, but we don't know. Well, 
but it does say what it is, and it does say uh, Buffy. Thank you, kitten. Thank you, Buffy. And Buffy from Simply B Vermont has also included a maple candy. That's for me. That's going to go right in my pocket too. Uh, all right, Simply B Vermont, and I don't think, aside from Michelle, that we know anything about who sent it. So we're just going to keep rolling. But uh, Michelle, whomever you are, I thank you. And what you have sent, it says these are catnip toys in a recharging tin. Oh, all right, let's see if, oh, wow, let's see if they're both the same. They are both the same. Very cute little tins. So these are those spice tins that you can get uh, that have the, the uh, transparent lid. And uh, these are nice because you can you know, like use magnets in them and stick them to a fridge. Or if you're uh, Alton Brown, you can stick them all to a big old wall with all your spices in them. That's how he does it or used to do it back in the day. Also, I noticed that uh, one of these, two of these labels are on upside down. Oh, maybe intentionally. They put on each of these. They've got the label upward and downward. So I guess you can put it both ways and get that catnip in there. And that's what they are. They are tin spelt balls charged with the power of be happy. I see that's the letter be happy trademark. Our proprietary blend of euphoria inducing herbs will keep your kitty super happy. When kitty begins to lose interest, simply return the balls to the tin and wait 24 to 48 hours, and poof, like magic, they will be recharged. Nice. It also says they have a website that is simply BVT, simply BVT.com. Perfect. Well, I like that, too. Uh, and it is, uh, that, well, it's exactly like it says. It is four very nice, heavy, felted wool balls, and then in the bottom, they've got these little packets of catnip. Uh, it's strong. I can smell it. It smells like pretty good catnip to me. So that's from Simply B uh, and, uh, and Michelle. Who, uh, whom, whichever Michelle it is, thank you very much for that. Uh, I'm trying to get this lid back on. There we go. Okay. Nice tins. Nice. These are very cool. All right. So I don't know exactly what you wanted me to do with those. There's two of them, of course. We have two classes in right now, so we could split things up that way. Or we could split them up some other way entirely. I don't know. Uh, somebody named Michelle, reach out to me and let me know what to do with these. Even if you're not the Michelle that sent them, definitely uh, send us an email and tell us what to do, okay? Um, all right. Next up. Uh, similarly, this appears to be a drop shipment in a recycled box, which is even more interesting, or maybe it's not, but the return address, instead of having a human being's name, says Sweet Reasons Farm on it, uh, which I'm pretty sure is not a human being's name. I could be wrong, though. I know. Some parents give their kids really weird names these days. Good old Sweet Reasons. Sweet Reasons Farm. I knew that guy. Oh, wow, these are some fancy handmade toys and some fancy packing materials, too. I've never seen packing peanuts like this. These are foam cutouts. They're just little foam cutout cylinders. That's so strange. Nice, though. These cat wands, though, are almost indescribable. Um, and I mean that almost literally, too, because they're really cool, and the cats are going to go crazy for them. Um, but... Uh, but I have a feeling, uh, well, there's no note. Okay. Wow, these look really, really nice. Uh, there is kind of a, a note in one of them, so let's see if it says anything interesting, but it looks like it's just a business card. What they are, they're little uh, wooden dowel wands with an elastic uh, string. So it's an elastic, so it can kind of be pulled and tugged. And at the end of the string is a bell and some real feathers uh, that look like um, look like something a cat would really, really like. And all it says is sweetreasonsfarm.com. Uh, sweetreasonsfarm.com, spelled exactly the way it sounds. And that's, uh, that's, that's all we know, Sweet Reasons Farm. It looks like they're on Facebook as Sweet Reasons Farm, on Instagram as Sweet Reasons Farm, and on email, sweetreasonsfarm at gmail. Oh, and also sweetreasonsfarm.com. Okay. Well, you guys definitely have got it. Um, wow. That's really pretty, and it is something I think the cats are just going to go nuts for. 
Uh, okay, I'm going to put it up there. Good. I have a feeling that some, some, some people might not like very much, and I can understand that. I look at it, it makes me feel a little, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's almost a little too good, I guess. Let's say that. All right. We'll just leave it there. I'm excited about it. I know the cats are going to be excited about it. Um, you know, it's just really nice. It's really cool. I can't wait to try it out on some kitties. Okay, this is from the Spice Merchant, another drop shipment kind of a thing. And, aw, this is so cool. <laughs> and I think it, it almost seems like it's got to be a little misleading. Uh, because this is from the Spice Merchant, the Spice Merchant in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, in the Spice Merchant in Wichita, Kansas, where I ordered all my coffee for a very long time. And then when the COVID outbreak started, the Spice Merchant stopped shipping for a while. You know, there was that initial sort of like nobody knew what to do, and businesses were just closing for a while. Um, and so for some reason, the Spice Merchant had shut down all of their shipping, and I couldn't get my coffee, my favorite coffee from them anymore. And so I look around for other coffees, and since then I haven't actually ordered from them. Um, and uh, it's just, they still have really good coffee. It's just, you know, I've been ordering from other places now. I bet there's a lot of, especially local and small businesses, that had that same sort of thing happen to them, and it's awful. It's, it's, it, it, it's unfortunate, I guess, that, you know, you, you have that, hmm. I don't know how to put it, but you guys know what I'm trying to say, really. It's just that, that you know, here's this, this small local business, the Spice Merchant in Wichita, Kansas, and I used to order all my coffee from there and sort of support this small business, and that was nice, and then I stopped. And I bet there's a lot of that support that stopped in a lot of places, not just them. Uh, and that's sad. So, uh, anyway, this says, enjoy your coffee, a surprise from one of your customers, which is super sweet. Although, I would, if I were a betting man, I would put money on it being my mom. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Who knows? Uh, but whoever it was, if it was my mom, great. If it wasn't my mom, also fine. Uh, whoever it was knows which coffee I used to order from there, though. Oh, okay. Well, not to ruin it. It looks like it wasn't my mom. Uh, oh, and there's a note, too. Oh, hey, perfect. All right. Not my mom. But whoever it was knew exactly where to go and what to get, and uh, you're going to put me back on this, so uh, you get all the credit, I think, for turning around at least one support of one small business, because after I have this, I'm surely going to start ordering more again. Anyway, you say right here, Hello, Mr. A. As a new mom, I knew I know how important it is to have that daily cup of coffee or two to get the day started. So here are some extra beans to hold you over. Our family loves everything you and DJ do, and my daughter has even started to enjoy the live stream herself. We hope you, DJ, and the faculty are well, and hope to send you more things soon. P.S. Please tell my husband that it is absolutely necessary that my daughter owns a KA onesie from Luciana, Shannon, and Trammell. Well, Luciana, Shannon, and Trammell, first off, uh, let me tell you, you're, you are right. It is absolutely critical that your daughter owns a KA onesie, and uh, all the more critical that you order it soon, because as we've been going over the Kitten Academy Teespring store, I've been looking for ways to sort of... Uh, uh, Teespring is... I love some things about their service, and I hate some things about their service. And there's a little bit of a technical problem that they're having. There's a lot of different ones that they're having now. They're doing this... Trans you know what? Let's not get into it. My whole point was going to be... We're trying to eliminate things from our Teespring store for good reasons, and as we're eliminating things, uh, a lot of the, the like, different design, like onesies, you know, things that, like we might look at it and go, well, nobody really orders too many onesies, so we're not going to sell those anymore. So we need you to order them to make sure we keep selling them, I guess, if it's something you want. Of course, if there were anybody out there who wanted a onesie and we didn't sell the onesies and they were like, oh, man, I really want a onesie, you could get in touch with me and I would make sure that onesie happened for you, uh, just so you know. Uh, so wherever important, uh, don't worry about it that way. But uh, but yeah. Uh, so um, that was a uh, um, uh, Trammel and Shannon and Luciana. Uh, thank you so much for uh, knowing what has been my favorite coffee and bringing it back to me after two years. Probably has it really been that long since 
before the year and a half anyway. Yeah, solid year and a half uh, since I've had any of this. So I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so very, very much. Uh, and maybe the guys at the Spice Merchant are going to owe you thanks too for sort of rebooting after uh, this whole thing. I know it's not really over yet, the, the whole pandemic um, and everything that we have to worry about as far as it goes. I know it's not over, but one thing I keep thinking about is how important it is to try to get back to some of the things that we used to do before. Uh, you know, I think it's brought, I think there's been some changes that have been very good that people have made that are things that we may want to continue as a people. And then there's some changes that have just been sort of incidental and that we would surely reverse. Uh, the first opportunity that we get, like visits to the Kitten Academy or uh, supporting local merchants uh, or just remembering to go back and support local merchants that you used to support and then you couldn't for some reason. Uh, that, that kind of a thing. There's so much of that for us to go back and think about. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for bringing that particular favorite thing of mine back to me after so long. That is really swell. Ooh, I said swell. That's a good word. I need to use that more often. Uh, okay. Ooh, whatever, this, uh, whatever this last thing is, very heavy, and that uh, that reminds me of... Oh, from Joy F. Okay, good. That reminds me of something I mentioned in the last mailbag. And this is our last box, too, so something I'd like to follow up on from our last mailbag uh, that I think is relevant here. Uh, all it says is enjoy your gift from Joy F. Well, Joy F., we will enjoy it quite a bit. Oh, wait, there's another note. Here we go. Uh, Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Sending some fancy feasts since it always seems to be running short on supplies. Thank you for all you do. Kitten hugs from Bayou, Abby, and Lila. And, of course, we know Joy F. So, yes, uh, and it is it's perfect. It's very heavy, too, because you sent, like, four cases. And that's, oh, uh, fancy feast. Uh, good, okay. Sliced chicken is, uh, they sent, they sent, wait, wait, is this right? Okay, sliced chicken. All right, good. Well, we haven't tried the sliced chicken before, but I'm definitely willing to give it a shot and see if they like it as much. So uh, we'll check it out. That's interesting because it looks, the cans look like the same old pate. You got the box of sliced chicken. Let me look at one of these real quick. It, it, no, it's sliced. Interesting. Okay. Huh. The cats might really go for this. In fact, I do remember that before we standardized on the, the pate, uh, we went through a, a period where we would feed them the, 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 the sliced or the grilled. or any, Fancy Beast has so many varieties, uh, and they really, really like it. So this could be something that turns out to be really good uh, as something to sort of give them for a treat almost. And uh, that brings me back around to what I was going to say, the follow-up from last week. I mentioned in passing last week that uh, Chewy had canceled one of our orders of food and that we missed it, like an entire week worth of food from Chewy as a result. But I also mentioned at the same time that we had a stash that would last us for several weeks if we couldn't get it. And since last week, I don't know what happened, uh, Chewy sent us two whole shipments of the regular food, too. So we're caught up. And we've got plenty, and we've still got our stash intact, uh, so we're not hurting as far as the food goes. But that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, you shouldn't send any if you wanted to, if anybody wanted to. It's, it's a very practical thing that we use, so it, you know it's immediately helpful. And these things are, um, I think the word accountants use is fungible. Uh, they like to use that word to talk about um, uh, money, and uh, I think they also like to use it because it's probably probably as close to fun as most accountants get. It's fungible. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know several accountants. They're wonderful people, and they, they actually do have fun uh, once in a while if it's put down in double bookkeeping. Um, you know, what was my point? I was going somewhere with this. Uh, oh, the food. Yeah, it's uh, it's fungible, which means, you know, obviously, uh, if you send us food, then that's that much less food that we have to buy it at all. It all definitely goes to the benefit of cats, I think was my point. So I appreciate it, and it's wonderful. And uh, this is good stuff for us to use nonetheless. So it's also good for us to have varieties once in a while. Um, you know, if, if we try it out, if it makes a good treat, great. If it doesn't, it's the kind of thing that we keep around to use when somebody doesn't want to eat. Uh, and we want to try different things on them. It could be the kind of thing that really attracts them. So there we go. Uh, 
that's all of it. That's the whole mailbag. I managed somehow to really make it take a long time, almost an hour for a very small mailbag. So I appreciate you guys hanging in for that. I hope it was fun. Uh, and if you are tuning in late, you might want to go back and watch the pre-show a half an hour before mailbag. We uh, started by bringing Tom in here and letting him meet these kittens, and then we brought Mural in and let her meet the kittens. Uh, Tom went better than Mural, surprisingly. Um, they both went pretty well, though, about as well as you'd expect, and will be repeated in the future uh, as time permits. So that's, uh, that's before Mailbag, and if you're watching on the archive, then surely you already saw it, because that's where it starts, but, uh, but you can go back even on the archive and see that. So there you go. Okay. Now it's time for me to do the regular mailbag thing and start to get all this stuff out of here. And then once we've got it all out of here, I will end the archive and say thank you again. And then I think my next project for this morning is going to be to try to reorganize the cameras in this room to account for the fact that the new favorite spot for the kittens is the infinity scratcher. And all the cameras are kind of pointing the wrong way to see that. And I might as well take the brand new unicorn out before they make it unnew since they don't like it anyway. No accounting for taste, kids. Brand new. It's brand new. Yeah, okay. They're not even listening to me. Are you? Are you? Uh, okay. Well, thanks again, everybody. I think I'm looking for follow-up uh, notes or something from uh, from the person who sent the wonderful felt balls and the T-shirt. And uh, I think those are the only ones, actually, that I need follow-up on, aren't they? Uh, but thank you, everybody, for everything so much. I mean, honestly, it's wonderful. And, uh, oof. Oh, that reminds me of something else that I, I, I wanted to talk about. And there's so many things that I, you know, I'll just think in passing I want to mention, and then I forget so many of them by the time that we're actually talking. Uh, I wanted to just put the idea out there, because I know, first off, that we have some people that send stuff for every class, and we have some people who have wanted to send stuff for every class, uh, and I know a lot of you feel like a strong obligation to do that. And I just want to put the thought out there that, that you don't have to send stuff for these classes or any classes. And nobody is going to judge you for that. And there's nothing wrong with not doing it. Uh, and the, the only reason I'm saying that is because having 13 kittens and two mom cats in that basically arrived all at the same time is a, is a big burden for people that want to send stuff for every class. I understand that. Don't feel like you need to do that. Even if nobody sends anything, these kittens are going to go home with you know a few things from us and, uh, and all the love that they could ever want. So they're going to get plenty of support. They're going to have great lives uh, no matter what. And I, just, I want you all to know that. And I want you to know if you're out there sort of panicking, going, oh, I normally send, you know, these presents for every class, and, and how am I going to do it when there's you know 14, 15 of them now? Uh, you know what am I? Gonna, how am I going to do 15 of those? Uh, don't panic. All right, just don't don't panic. Don't feel like you have to take a break for a class if that's what you need to do. Uh, we're um, definitely understand all that. So I just I wanted to put that thought out there. That's all. Just let you know. Not to not to panic, <laughs> I guess. Don't panic. Am I talking to myself right now? Am I saying, Mr. A, you got this. Don't panic. Fifteen kittens, you can manage it, okay? Like I might be talking to myself just a little bit. Uh, I am also talking to you. Though, so. Okay. Uh, time for me to get this stuff put up now. So let's do that. Let's see. How are we going to do this? How am I going to do this? All right, I need a box. Let's start there. Oh, here, let's do this. Let's take this box with these really cool bird toys in it. And, uh, and, no, no, I'm still out of room somehow. Because of all these really cool packing materials. How many of those can I get rid of? I just used to. in there, then I can put all this stuff that needs to go for either deployment or storage or endowment. 
right in here and carry it all down to the basement in one big pile. The notes go down the basement too. These can go down there with it. And we know this is already for endowments for sure, so that can go with. All right, so that's all the carry downstairs. And the food goes down to the kitchen. She's very interested in the cricket when it makes noise. But when it doesn't make noise, she's not really sure what it is. You guys got to see this kid oozing out of the infinity scratcher. That's an advanced ooze right there. Okay. All right. And the t-shirt can just go right across the hall to the wash. Oh, perfect. All right. And the coffee. Oh, man. I just had a picture of making coffee in the washing machine. Like That might be enough coffee for me. I might not, though. I don't know where to put the meaty sticks so that they get used from my pocket for the moment. I think I'm going to have some coffee in that maple can. It's so cute, it's a little maple leaf. Hmm. So maple, too. Hi, hey buddy. You got the fattest little eyes. It's got a little caper. You got the fattest little caper eyes. I know you're not fat, you're just going through that stage where your eyes are shaped that way. Okay. Yeah, but what do you think of that? Come on, that's a fun one. Oh yeah, look at that. It. What is it? What is it? Okay, Bert, what is it? Does it look and feel like a tiny kitten? Hmm? Like a kitten's kitten? It does, though, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel like a tiny kitten? Okay. All right, let's do this. Oh! Still want to go out? You can go out now. Oh, but all you're sitting for attention now. All right, you can go out. That's fine. More important. Thank you. I can put this down because Mira went out in the hall. Okay. This is all to go downstairs. Oh, but so is all that. Okay. What to do? Now I can't carry it all at once, so. Let's actually take this very heavy food Ooh, and then this stuff all at once. There we go, and then I'll come back for the rest. Don't even think about coming in here and you. Nope, don't do it. Nope, nope. I know. I know you learned there could be dry food in there, but don't do it.
Muriel is following me everywhere around the house. I don't know exactly what she wants, but the minute I leave her room, she's right behind me. Actually, what she probably wants to come in here and eat dry food. <laughs> Okay, this, this, this. Okay, coffee. Yes, this coffee. Okay, and this thing. Right, and then I just have to come back to my coffee cup. Hi, Mew Mew. Thank you. Thank you.
bud. Bud. All right. Well, hey, oh, I guess that's it for mailbag. We're still recording the archives, so I need to wrap that up before I start moving stuff around. But uh, that's what I'm going to do next is I'm going to disconnect the cameras in here so I can switch some cables and move some things and reorganize. It's ironic uh, because uh, I'm almost ready to move these kids downstairs. And after I'm done moving things around in this room, my next project today is to go downstairs and wash the floors some more downstairs and get everything real ready for them. And the rug's still got to be done. Um, but uh, actually, after today, after we wash the rugs today, there's, there's not that much more to do. So we could look at moving them in tomorrow, but I don't think that's going to happen. Probably going to get pushed until, you know, middle of next week or something, depending on how they're doing. But I want to be ready for it. Uh, Anyway, okay, uh, yeah, so hey, uh, thank you so much to everybody that sent everything for these kittens and some of the stuff for me, too. I really appreciate that. Um, we do try to discourage people from sending things for me or for DJ, uh, but, uh, but we definitely encourage people that want to send things to send things for the kittens, for the endowments. Um, that's, uh, we like to sort of stay focused on that as much as we can. That doesn't mean I don't appreciate it. I do that, especially that coffee. Man, I, every now and then I think about it, and I think, oh, I should order some more of that coffee from the spice merchant, and then I don't. Uh, but here we are. That finally sort of kick-started me. Uh, kick-started me? No? I don't know. Uh, re rebooted? Something. Reset. Uh, it's good. Okay. So I'm going to end the archive now, and then, like I said, I'm going to switch all the cameras over to um, the first annex and, and murals kids for a few minutes because I, I need to disconnect all the cameras in here to move things around the way I want. So uh, that is the plan from here. If you are watching uh, live, don't go anywhere, but if you're watching on the archive, you know what to do.